Hello out there once again. I welcome you to Marriage Without Tears channel. This is your ultimate channel for couples who want to make a difference in their marriage. And today we are discussing the issue of domestic violence, the attacks of men onto their wives. In a title, I just titled it, I mean, why men beat their wives? Why men beat their wives? Some of my friends said to me, why are you looking at it from the perspective of wife beating alone? And I said to them, any man that is suffering a physical attack or who is physically intimidated by his own wife is either a weakling, a drunkard, or somebody who is, uh, I mean, spiritually challenged, somebody who needs deliverance, who is under a spiritual oppression of his sort. So uh, he's, he's suffering from something, from, from, from something that is even deeper than, than, than domestic violence. So I, I'm going to look at it from the perspective of why beating, because most men do this because they are stronger than their, their female counterparts. They are stronger than their wives. And I want us to look at why these things happen. And number one, before we go in, I want to also say something. Uh, every, every, every person who is going through this kind of thing, this kind of experience, any woman going through this kind of experience should seek for help immediately. You should seek for help immediately. Don't make unnecessary excuses for your husbands. I, I know I love a daughter of mine who, in such a circumstance, what she did, she just went to the police station, picked up some policemen, and got her husband arrested. The man was kept in the cooler for a few days. And when he came out, he, 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 his senses returned. I, I want you to know that you don't just sit back and then soak in these things because it can only get worse. And uh, I have seen so many things happening. Even within the week, something happened in my own nation, Nigeria. A very wonderful lady who is a gospel artist of a, of a wonderful kind. She, she lost her life on, on, in, in such circumstances. And I, I, I want you to know that this can happen to anybody if you told the lie she told. I, I also want to tell some of our spiritual fathers, Please, beside the offerings and the tithes and the fastings and the prayers, please look deeper into the emotional and spiritual lives of people that are under you, under your spiritual care. Study them. Ask them. Be involved in their spiritual and emotional lives. Be there for them. Let them open up to you. And when these things happen, please don't dodge under some certain uh, doctrines. Don't dodge under all this for better, for worse, for this. No, 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 no. Be proactive, look at it, and then begin to proffer effective solutions is very, very important. And for parents, please be very, very clear on this. Look at your daughters who are in marriage. If you discover that they are having bruises all over them, they don't have to be having accidents on a daily basis. No, you discover some bruises around them. Be involved. Get in a, raise the alarm. You may not have to go to your in-laws to arrest them, but you can raise alarm. You can go to the authorities. You can report. You can get other, other people involved in their affair so that at the end of the day, solution will be provided. I, I, it's just a note of one I want to sound before I go into the reasons why men beat their wives. My name is Felix Ukeke. I am your marriage counselor and coach. Like I said, on this edition, we are looking at wife beating. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, there's a red button by my side. Click on it right away and get subscribed so that you become part of this wonderful, wonderful channel. Number one, why do men beat their wives? The very first thing I want to say is that they want to assert their control and dominate the relationship. I, I did an earlier video where I talked about authority and submission. The very moment a man gets married to a woman, he becomes her head. But this is an authority of position. And then that man needs knowledge in order to upgrade his authority level. And then that knowledge can also be taken to the realm where he receives wisdom and begins to act exemplary. He begins to honor his wife. He begins to love her. And then he gets to the third level of authority. But most men after marriage, they don't improve on their life. They don't improve on their relationship. They, they, they stay at that authority of position and it doesn't take you to anywhere. And before you know it, some of the expectations of the woman is no longer there. She expects that you should love her. She expects that you should treat her well. She expects you to provide for her. She expects you to defend her. She expects you to be there for her. Even to, I mean, she expects so much from you and somehow you are no longer doing them. 
So disrespect comes in, she begins to undervalue you, she begins to look at you as something less than what she anticipated before she came into the marriage. Now, you are no longer providing all these things, and yet you still want to remain respectable, you still want to attain that level of authority. No, it doesn't happen. Because of this challenge, a lot of skirmishes come into the relationship, a lot of adjustment problems come in. Before you realize it, the man wants to attain that level of authority by physical means. And it doesn't always work that way. When you receive respect through dominance, through physical control, you, the respect you, you receive is, is that kind which a slave gives to his master. The respect a slave gives to the master should be different from a, a respect which a wife gives to the husband. Because the slave respects the master out of fear. If you intimidate your wife to the level whereby she becomes, she begins to fear you, she begins to respect you out of fear. You have lost it. And that is what happens to most men. They want to get this respect through fear, through intimidation, through dominance, by physical means. So that is one of the reasons why men beat their wives. And I must tell you, if you're a man, please go back to some of our ideas. Begin to know how to, I mean, get this respect through knowledge and through exemplary life. That is the first thing I want to say. The second thing that makes men to be their wives is when the man comes from a very poor parental background. When a man comes from a very poor parental background, he does not have a positive idea of marriage. He does not have a positive understanding of how to treat a woman. I know of so many people who came from broken families, who came from, I mean, families where the man is always, where their the fathers are always beating their moms. And as the man is growing up, he gets to know that the only way you can succeed in marriage is by beating a wife. They come from homes where, I mean, the, the woman comes from homes where the, 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 their mother are always ranting on the man. You know, talking all manner of dirty language on the man. That she carries it into her marriage. And before you know it, they are in marriage and they don't know what it takes to be properly married. They don't know the positive ideas of communication to one another in the, in the process of marriage. So what do you have? You always have people who are in marriage without knowing what it means to get married. The woman says, no, I, I, I'm tired. I don't want to have sex today. And then the man rises and looks for his whip. He wants to beat her to submission. He wants to actually rape her in the process of lovemaking. No, it doesn't follow that way. I mean, there are so many. The man says, I don't have money. And then the woman jumps up and begins to talk all manner of nonsense. It doesn't happen. If you do that, what will happen is there will be violence. So when a man comes from a very poor home, where he's not trained, where he's not tutored, I have had some people who say the, 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 the parents are more interested in, the, in their daughters. They want to teach them how to, you know, how, how to react when men come to them. They want to teach them what to do in their first menses. They want to teach them how to avoid men. But do, these parents, do they ever spend time to teach the, the, the girl child the emotional side of how to respect their men? It is always a problem. The, what, are the, what, are, what are the men? Sometimes the men are left totally. They are left totally. Nobody tells the man anything. I can tell you between you and I, nobody told me how to have sex. I don't know about you. But there has never been a time when the man was, you know, when your, your father sat you down and said, son, when a woman comes to you, this is how to react, this is what to do, this is what to do. And so, so, so. Most men never receive that kind of instruction. They never receive that kind of instruction. At the end of the day, you go into marriage with a lot of trials and error. And when you are into trials and error, you become what I call a quack husband and a quack wife. I mean, when you are quacks, the only thing that will come out of it is violence. And when violence comes, it is always the man that will beat the woman to submission. So these are the reasons why men beat their wives when they come from a very poor I mean, parental background. The third reason why a man can beat his wife is because of the rabid tongues of women. Most women are given to talking. They can talk and talk and talk because it appears what they lack in physical strength, I mean, their tongue don't lack that strength. 
so they, they, they do whatever they can intimidate you they can talk you down they, because they know very well that it is very difficult for a man to meet a woman word for word so most women are intimidated most, most men are run down by the rabbit tongues of women and as they are doing that they are giving you more and more and more and more the better the, in short, the most hurtful words the most derogatory language is called out of their being as they address some certain issues i've seen men turn into useless because i mean because they, they don't know how to react to these things anymore but if you are a man out there instead of raising your hands against your wife at such period of time i will just advise you please walk away walk away simply pick up one or two things and walk away even if it means strolling out for a few hours if you come back and you discover that such a thing is still happening please seek for counsel in the hands of a qualified married counselor so that both of you can you know know you can sit and open up and know the reasons why these things happen even as a man try to find out why does she speak that way all the time is she even right is she even right? Are there things she's saying that is actually true? Because I discovered a period of, over a period of time that even the broken clock is right twice in a day. So have you ever sat down to reason and check whether what your wife is actually saying is right? Because I have seen so many men rise up in anger without weighing in the balance what their spouses are saying. So sometimes also as a woman, you don't have to rant, you don't have to run your husband down because the moment you are running your husband down, you are running yourself down. You are running your home down. You are letting the neighbors know the, the terrible mess that is happening in your home. Nobody washes his or her dirty lining in the street. And when a man's dirty lining is pushed into the street, the reaction is normally violence. I, 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 I'm looking at the reasons why men hit their wives. And, and it takes a lot of grace for you to, you know, to walk away from the rabbit tongues of a woman. But if you're a man of wisdom, please do so anytime it happens. Before I go into the fourth reason, please look at the, the red button by my side. Click on this red button and be part of this channel. Even as we go to the fourth reason why men beat their wives. The fourth reason is loss of income. Anytime a man loses his capacity to provide for the family, possibly he has lost his job or he's lost, he has lost his source of income, he has lost his job and he is no longer providing for the family, something ugly happens to his psyche. And it's only a wise woman that will know how to tend to such a man at such a period in time. I've seen so many women, they throw banters at such a man. No, no, that's not the time to throw banters. The man is in a serious emotional trauma. Having the capacity to provide his family taken from him. He's walking away and wandering here and there. And then he comes back to the house. Instead of you putting out water for him to take his bath and rubbing his back and encouraging him and motivating him and telling him that tomorrow could be better than today. What do you say? You say, what is it again? This one you are frowning. It, it appears, uh, is it because your pocket is leaking? Let me tell you, at such period in time, even... A, a, a little word from the woman can ignite such an anger in the man because he feels exposed. He feels totally finished. On, in him, the only, the only arm that can encourage him is his spouse. Now his spouse is running him down. Now his spouse is making a joke out of it. So when a man loses his income, please, as a woman, know how to attend to him. Know how to attend to him. Attend to him with a lot of love, a lot of respect. Bring him closer unto you. You know, get him closer. Let him know that it is not the worst, that the best is yet ahead. But most women don't do that. Instead, they run the man down. Instead, they tell him, I have seen a woman usurp the responsibilities of the man at such period in time. She, she actually thought she was doing the man a lot of good. But somehow the man was feeling run down. He was feeling intimidated. How can my wife now be feeding me? How can my wife now be paying school fees? And the woman was doing it in such a way that she was actually rubbing it on the man. I mean, she brings her school fees instead of giving it to the man to give to his children. She calls the children and gives them their school fees direct. And these kids are beginning to know that it's only mommy that has the financial muscle in this home. That their father, their father is just useless. And that thing has gotten deep into the man. So at the slightest opportunity, the man will descend on the woman. And the woman is wondering, how come I am trying to make our home great? I'm providing for the home. 
I'm, I'm, I'm giving school fees to the children. I'm doing all my And this man is still beating me on top of that. How come? The reason is because you assault his authority. You assault his position. Why don't you, you know, why don't you make him feel good a little? But you can provide for the food. But when you want to give money to your children as a woman, please call your husband. Give the money to your husband. Let him give it to the children as though it is coming from him. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Very, very important in such time. So, if a man has lost an income, it is a terrible time. And such a man can descend on his wife at the slightest inconvenience. These are the reasons why men beat their wives. The next point I want to also raise is what I call peer pressure. What do I say? Peer pressure. <laughs> when a man who is not knowledgeable about the relationship goes out there and he meets his drinking buddies, he, he, he meets some of those uh, you know, funny people he meets at the workplace, and he begins to interact with them, and he opens up his marital life unto them. There are some certain information that they may give to him that he can take to his home, and then there is a lot of catastrophe. He can say to them, oh, my, my wife, you know, during the night, she, she says she has a headache. She couldn't give me that. That's what she did the other time. Honestly, I'm tired of this. I don't. And the, his buddy will say, what? What are you talking about? Is it not your money that you used to go and marry her? What are you talking about? If she does, no, my wife can't treat me that way. If she does that, I will, deserve, I will deal with her. And what did you do? And, and the man will say, what can I do? Is it? My friend rises up. Go on. The, the, are you, what, what are you doing? Don't allow her to treat you like that. And then the man goes home ready for action. And the moment the woman gives such an excuse again, what do you expect? A dirty slap, a kick in the groin. There are so many reasons why. So as a man, you need to know the kind of people you move around with. If you find yourself moving with a man who has divorced his wife, please run away from such a relationship. If you find yourself open even with men who treat their wives strongly, before you know it, it's like a foreign language. When you're in the midst of foreigners, even though you don't know the language, after a season, you will begin to pick one thing or the other. Before you know it, you are speaking the same language. That is what happens. If you're in the midst of those who might treat their wives and they're your best buddies, before you realize it, you will go home with the same vice inside of you. So peer pressure, it can also mess up the best of relationships. I have seen women also who undermine their relationship and invited them, you know, invited that kind of attack on themselves because of the kind of companies they kept. Because of the kind of companies they kept, they opened up to their, to their fellow friends, their fellow women, possibly their hairdresser. And then that one came up with a useless advice. And then she gets home. She wants to apply the same counsel, the same unworthy counsel on her husband. Meanwhile, her hairdresser is not married to her husband, does not know the character of the husband, does not know how he could react. And then she takes the same kind of unworthy counsel onto her husband. And then what do you expect? An altercation. A serious, a serious demonic operation. And before you know it, the man descends on the wife. So... There are so many reasons, so many reasons. I, I want to counsel some of us out there. Please, in some of the things we have mentioned today, please look at your own relationship closely. Look at it closely. You know, shift, shift it. Look at it. And then, as I give you the final one, the final one is simply this. If a man does not have genuine love for his wife, he will beat her regularly. What do I say? If there's no genuine love between a man and his wife, there's a tendency for that man to always descend on his wife regularly. I, I will ask you a question. Is it possible really? I, I, I've checked honestly. 99.9% .9 of men out there can never lay a finger on their mom, even if they are told that their mom is the worst of women. They can never lay their hands on their mom. 99% of men out there, if they hear that their sister, their younger sister, have been beaten up by a man outside there, especially if that their younger sister is still single, such a man will dress up and be ready for war. Why? Because there's a bond of love. There is a love between them. There's an inner love. If a man has an inner love for his spouse, he'll be ready to defend her, not beat her. Because when you beat your wife, you are also beating yourself. By the grace of God, the person that is married to you have been married for over 25 years. 
and my wife is a great witness to this. Throughout 25 years of marriage, I have never laid a hand on her as a slap or even as a push in the mouth. Not that she does not anger me to the level where I can beat her, but knowledge and instruction and the kind of people, the kind of companies I have kept has helped to do what? Stem my emotions. I, I want you to know one thing. If you actually love your spouse and you are moving in the right group and you make yourself available unto knowledge, I can tell you that wife beating will be far from you. You will not intimidate your spouse through wife beating. I encourage you, please, watch, go through this very particular edition. And then, as a woman, you will also know what and what to do in order to avoid instances of your, of your husband coming unto you in physical way. I must say, I will not make excuse for my men folk, for my friends that are male, because it is only a beast that actually lays his hand on his spouse. As a matter of fact, you are meant to carry your wife in knowledge, in wisdom. You know that she's far, far weaker in terms of physical strength than you. You know very well that if you cut her lip or pluck off her, her teeth, somehow it will get back on you because people are going to ask, what happened to this woman? And then they will get the report that you are actually the one who inflicted such a wound onto her. How will you feel at the end? Don't allow your anger to take you to that level where you begin to lay your hands upon your spouse. It is bestial, it is repugnant, it is despicable, it is condemnable. And I believe God that somebody watching this will learn one or two lessons from what we have said today. May God bless you. Before you leave, please, this red button by my side, click on it, get subscribed, be part of the move we are into. It's a great channel indeed. It will all go well in your marriage and in your home if you become a part of this community. Thank you very much for your time. I look forward to seeing you next week. God bless you.